Hey everybody, it's Carmel. Welcome to my channel. Hope everybody's good out there. I have a haul video for today. Yay for shopping. I have lots of gorgeousness to share with you and I can't wait to show you everything I got. See, I don't shop very often so when I do it's kind of a big deal and I get mega excited. So let's just get straight into it. I have a couple of bits I picked up from Amazon so I'll show you those first and then We'll get into the good stuff from Craftelier and strap yourselves in for that one, guys, because I got a mother load of paper. Just want to mention quickly that I'm not affiliated with any of the stores or brands or companies that I mentioned throughout this video. I have not been provided with any of the products that I'm going to share with you. I've purchased them all with my own money. So it's just my own independent opinion that I'm expressing throughout the video. And you will hear a lot of opinion. You'll hear a lot of gushing and drooling and all of that kind of thing. So I just wanted to let you know. So before we get into anything else, I'll just show you a couple of things that I picked up in Dublin. I didn't get much in Dublin on my last trip. I just got a couple of trims. I got these in Tiger. They're a, a, an English chain store that we have here in Ireland. And um, they have discounted stuff. They're kind of like your Dollar Tree pound stretcher kind of thing. But I got these. I love velvet ribbon and I was running low on red. And these were just fantastic value. Seven meters. I think they were 250 euro, something like that. Crazy. That's even cheaper than Ali. Even. So I picked up the wider in red as well. And then I got this one as well. This is gorgeous. This is the gold trim. And then something else I got that's not really craft related, but it's just so adorable. I have to share it. I got these little robins. I have never seen robins in these. I've seen the yellow ones, the chick ones that they bring out for Easter, but I've never seen the robins and they're just, <laughs> I don't even want to take them out of the box. I just think they're gorgeous. So I got those on to Amazon. Then the first thing I got from Amazon, I got this gorgeous girl stamp. I don't have this one. I have a few of these smaller ones, but I don't have this one. This is called Oh Dear. And she's just gorgeous, just beautiful for Christmas, especially. I think she's going to be gorgeous. So I got her. I picked up a couple of packs of the flower forming foam from Crafters Companion. This is the really thin foam that you melt with the iron and then use your flower shaping tool. So I can't wait to have a go. You use the iron to melt it and that should be interesting because I'm not great with, with uh, as my fingers can attest to, I'm not great with ovens or irons or anything hot, you know, <laughs> me not good. I savaged my right hand the other day in the oven. I'm 100% useless at cooking, guys. You have no idea. See, I'm not into food, so uh, I'm not a big foodie, so I never really learned how to cook properly. And I don't like using oven gloves because I find them too clumsy, so I use a I just use a tea towel when I'm cooking to take stuff out of the oven and 90% of the food I cook I burn so it's panic stations at the oven you know I just desperate to get it out and there's smoke everywhere and I grab the tea towel and I go to take and it's always my thumbs I burn the top of my thumbs here or the first knuckle on my four fingers like so it's, it's either we either burn that way or that way down when I'm listening and this be screams and you know all that kind of thing so I should really just stop cooking and just stick to microwave popcorn or something. <laughs> Generally speaking, I'm okay with the iron. You know, I very rarely burn myself with the iron, so I, hopefully I'll be okay. But I'm, I can't wait to try out these. I think that's all I got from Amazon. So then from Craftelier, I'll save the papers till the end and I'll show you the kind of the less paper related. I got this gingerbread die set from Lawn Fawn. I have tons of gingerbread in my stash, stamps and dies and camachons and all the rest of it. But I don't have this one from Lawn Fawn, so I thought this was adorable. I've seen some of the samples online that, that uh, crafters have made using this, so I got that one. Can't wait to try that one out. So the next thing I got was, these are by our Artemio, Art Artemio. Um, I think they're a Belgian company. And these stamps are just absolutely adorable. I'm going to turn these over so you can see the images. <laughs> <Are> they <cool? laughs> How adorable are they? I thought, as my stamps go, I always thought House Mouse um, from Stampen. This is Ellen Jurecki or Jerky is the artist who, who designed House Mouse. And I thought they were my favourite mice ever, but these are giving her a run for her money. These are just gorgeous at this kind of ice skates. And then Joy of Joys, I discovered that they come in puffy sticker form as well. <laughs> Look at this. How adorable, how completely and totally and adorable are they? Look, the mouse in the teacup. I hope it's not glaring terribly. Is it glaring terribly? It is glaring terribly. So um, I won't spend too long on them. But you get the idea. Cuteness overload. Love, love. 
I got these bow stickers uh, because, you know, a paper crafter can never have enough bows in their stash, right? And I don't have anything like these and I thought they were gorgeous, really pretty colours and different sizes. So they will go a long way in my stash. I got these ones by Rosie Studio. Again, I don't have anything like these. They're glitter as well. I'm trying to show them without the glare. You can see the glitter, but not the glare, hopefully. But I don't have anything like these. These are really pretty. They're all the moons and the pale pastel colours. Gorgeous. I got these also by Rosie Studios. I have these uh, puffies in different colours, but I thought these were really gorgeous for spring colours. Those are bouquets. Aren't they gorge? So, love those. From the Joanna Rivero brand, I got these and I thought these were gorgeous. Really, really pretty and kind of craft art related. A little cart here and all these paint palettes. They're gorgeous. And these little paint brush and pots. Just super cute. And the butterflies. Don't ask me what the underwear and puffy stickers are all about. What's that about? I've no idea. Lots of underwear, you know, <laughs> what's going on there. But um, super cute and all lots of lovely hearts and, and things. They'd be great for twinchies and other projects. The last stickers I got are these ones here, guys. And uh, this is serious business. We, we need to talk about these because they're also by Joanna Rivero. And I, I can't. I'm going to take these out and show you because these are the, I think, the most perfect thing I have ever, ever seen. These are just gorgeous. You're going to have to set the clock and stop me talking about these because when I opened these the other day, the parcel came, I think, on Friday. Uh, I'll show you the paper in a minute. I almost passed out when I saw some of the paper. Uh, these are just, I hope these are going to turn out on camera because uh, these are just, there's some tiny, look, the tiny, teeny, tiny gingy. Teeny, teeny, tiny gingies. <laughs> they gorgeous. Look at the puffy star. Look at the puppy stars and the tiny little stockings. And where's the reindeer? There's the reindeer. See him? Oh, look, he's killing me. He's killing me. I can't. I can't cope. See, I want to just put those on my pillow and drift off to sleep watching them and just looking at the perfection of them because they're just gorgeous. I know you probably gathered by now that I am quite bonkers. You know? I'm sure you've got that by now. But I do know I'm not alone as well. I know I'm not alone. So I really love these. The only problem with these is that if I'm to have any chance at all of ever using them, I'm going to need to buy at least 10 more sheets of them because there's no way I'd be able to cope with using the last one of these. This one, I'm just going to show you one more. OK, this ma there's a teeny tiny mouse in the basket with the little spool of thread and the scissors. Oh, I can't. Oh, stop it. Stop it. I'll just stop looking at them. Put them away. OK, move on. Move on. You guys have probably moved on already. You probably fast forward long ago and missed the stickers altogether. Anyway, I really do love them. So now for the good stuff. Let's get into some paper. I didn't actually get tons. I didn't go too crazy with this one. If you're not familiar with Craftelier, they're a Spanish scrapbooking, online scrapbooking store. And they are phenomenal. They are really, really wonderful. They have all of the big brands. Like you'll get your Doodle Bug, you'll get your Maggie Holmes and your Echo Park and all of what you'd be familiar with. But if you do go on the website, you click the scrapbooking tab and then click on collections. And trust me, guys, grab the duvet, get on the sofa, make yourself a cup of coffee and clear your schedule for three days because... It's going to take you that long to go through all of the collections. They have tons and they show them on the website in alphabetical order, but it's alphabetical by collection, not by brand. It's by the name of the collection. So if you scroll down, you're going to discover all kinds of gorgeousness. Don't say it more warn you. Don't say it more warn you. That's all I'm going to say. But clear your schedule. Seriously, no joke. Clear your schedule because you, you will shop till you drop or you'll window shop till you drop anyway. So the first one I got, I got a couple of pieces from uh, Craft Consortium. This is in the Forest Collection. This has been on my wish list for a while. I didn't get everything with this one. I just got my favourite stamps from the collection and I got the 6x6. Well, I'll just show you the papers. Not really my usual colour palette, but very, very pretty. I, I'm a sucker for a small floral, any kind of small flower prints I love. And there's lots of them in this. And you get, I think you get four of each pieces weren't they gorgeous how pretty are they just beautiful i'm trying to stay in camera I, I keep forgetting i'm still learning filming and i forget to look at what i'm filming you know you just get carried away because oh look at all of that yeah but i really love this uh this collection really cute and the stamps are absolutely gorgeous these remind me of uh, ladybird books 
when I was a kid, you know, I still have three of my original Ladybird books from my childhood. But I love the images. They're just absolutely adorable. And then this one here with the, with the, the little group sleeping and the bunny just curled up. <laughs> it's really, really cute. The face is gorgeous. So I'm looking forward to playing with those. So the next one I got is this one here and I was so excited about this. Uh, this was the one when I placed the order a couple of weeks ago. I couldn't sleep with the excitement. I was so dying to see this. I was just so excited to see this one. And again, I didn't get everything. I just kind of handpicked the pieces that I wanted. I got the 8x8 pad. I've taken them all out of the packaging just to make it easier to show you. But these are really beautiful. This is a new brand for me. Uh, Deca, Deca Trade, Deca Trade. They'll come with Spanish. I don't speak a word of Spanish. So um, I'm sure I'm butchering the pronunciation. But just really, really pretty. I had never seen uh, this company before. I'd never seen this collection. But I'm just show you quickly. Just really, really gorgeous, gorgeous images. And... Um, and cut apart sheets. I'll show you that I got the 12 by 12 in these in a couple of these as well, just for uh, just to have a bit more if I want to make boxes or bigger projects. But just super, super cute. So I got a couple of the, the 12 by 12s and they're double sided and they're a really nice weight as well. They're a bit heavier than your your average 12 by 12. But um really, really pretty. I love these borders. Just I love the colour palette in as well, just really pretty. I got a few of uh, my favourites just to play with. So look at those images, how gorgeous are they? The next collections I got are from Papers For You, an another company I had never heard of. And I don't know if Papers For You are Craftelier's own brand or, or their separate company altogether. But this one I went totally crazy because I'm not a gnome girl. I don't have a single gnome image in my stash. Uh, just, just not my thing. But, and this is a gnome collection, but I that's how much I loved this one. I, I got it anyway. Um, it's not heavily gnome, but the papers, let me just show you the papers. These are just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful papers. And images, look at this girl. <laughs> look at him. Am I on camera? Am I out of camera? I'm out of frame? Mm -hmm. <laughs> there we go. I'm doing my best. It's very hard to share papers, isn't it? You know, especially if they're 12 by 12 and you're changing sizes and trying to show people. There's our Nomi. It's super cute. And these little cut apart at the back of this one. There's this other gorgeous one. Look at this guy with his lantern. <laughs> super cute. So then I got this part of the collection as well. This is a weird. Does anyone know what this size is? Uh, have you seen this size before, guys? I'd never seen this size before. It's a bit of a strange one. Maybe I'm I'm not a scrapbooker and I don't know what this is about. Uh, if anyone knows what this size is about, then let me know. I will use it. I mean, I, I will definitely use it, but I don't know, I don't know why I got it. I just uh, I was just in love with the images and uh, decided to go for it. I think it would make a really nice calendar. You know, if you printed out some calendar pages or something like that. But they're really pretty papers, and I'll definitely use the papers anyway. And cut into these easily and make little tags. And then I got the ephemera as well. Um, I love the ephemera. I have another collection to show you in a minute by the same company, by Papers For You. And this is how the ephemera comes. In the, isn't the packaging just gorgeous? I did take the ephemera out and put it on a sheet just to show you, just to give you an idea of, of uh, what's involved. You don't get a ton of ephemera. But they're just really cute and they gorgeous and they're really they're nice they're not not chipboard but they're a uh, good solid weight card stock as well and then you get these little uh, notebook cards as well now they're cute gnomes i like them they're cute but they're really sweet i love these sheep with the little pom-pom feet <laughs> how cute are they gorge oh, i love that one i just thought that was adorable so then the last collection I got is this one. And guys, I almost exploded with excitement when I saw this. I'd found the artist on Etsy. She sells uh, digital collections and I had bought a couple of her collections for her images and and printed them out myself and made, you know, made use them in projects and stuff. That's one of hers, <laughs> little elephants. But she didn't have paper in her online store. And so when I saw these on Craftelier, it was like, oh, um, gee, I want everything. 
I know there's lots of people will be looking at this and saying, no, way too baby for me. New baby cards or that thing. But I just think they're adorable. The same way I love Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty is not all for five-year-olds, you know. It's for big five-year-olds as well. Adult five-year-olds. But uh, That's what this is all about for me. These are just, look at these. These are just perfection. If someone got into my head and said, design the perfect images on the perfect paper it would be these and the little bunny the puffy stars as well omg seriously at least with the six by six you do get two of each the 12 by 12 you only get one of each so there will be decisions will have to be made if we're to ever cut into the papers but this zebra i think is my favorite ever she has a little butterfly on her muzzle <laughs> gorgeous 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 Look how pretty, even the flowers, just just beyond pretty. And even the little plaid on the back. Just look at the piggies. Look at the piggies. <laughs> the piggies. Oh, I can't. I can't. This is just too much. It's just too much perfection in one place. <laughs> and these, oh, look. You see, I would see that. And I see milk carton with one of those on, on each of the four sides. And all kind of pastel gorgeous pretty beads gorgeous so i know i'm banging on here guys but this is just just too adorable the little honey pots and the 12 by 12s as well and again bigger images in the 12 by 12 how i'm going to cut those i don't know i love the colors as well they're just fresh baby soft pastel i know again guys i'm sure i've left just all 10 minutes ago i'm sure you fast forwarded and skipped all of this but I just love it. I could just look at this. See, I could just not craft and just look at these all day and spend the whole day in the craft room just looking, <laughs> just going through my papers. And sometimes I do. I just love paper and I will probably always love paper and I'm probably out of frame and all that, but I'm sure you've seen enough of it. But <laughs> I could never see enough of this. I did get the ephemera in this as well. And there are the ephemera pieces there. But look how adorable. How adorable are they? Seriously. Even the packaging with the ephemera, I mean, you could cut those, cut those out and use them so that you'd have maximum number of images to play with. I can't wait to start playing with all of these collections because I have enough paper now to do me forever. Really. Wallpaper the entire house plus the neighbours. So I also got a couple of Prima pieces from Frank Garcia. I'm not a Christmas crafter. I, I love to make winter projects, but I'm not a, a, a Christmas traditional. I wouldn't use Santa images in my crafting or those kind of vintage images. But I just lo really love the color palette in this. That blue and cream and pink together is just stunning. So I will use these, even though they're not my my kind of images. They are they really are beautiful. This is a gorgeous collection. I won't spend too much time on this because I know lots of people have hauled it. And then this is a, this is a different one. I think I was just on a Frank Garcia roll because I'd seen everyone else hauling and I thought, oh, well, I'll, I'll find out for myself what the, the excitement's all about. And it is very pretty. It, I mean, it is. It's very pretty. That's a gorgeous paper. And I think you get five of each. Yep, five of each. So that's great. You don't have to worry about um, hoarding <laughs> so much. And then I just got a couple of individual 12 by 12s of the ones I like. I never really thought I would be into something like that, but there's just something very, very beautiful about it. It's just the colour combo is gorge. And the reverse of them is also gorgeous. Anyway, I won't spend any more. I know lots of people have shown these, so I'll move on. So the last thing I'm going to share is I picked up a couple of individual pieces and also some acetate sheets. So I will show you those. This one is by Heidi Swap. It's from the Sun Chaser collection. And this was a bit of a mistake, I think. Because this was on the website as acetate or I can't remember if it was acetate or it was an ombre. They said it was an ombre gold kind of and I thought it looked beautiful. I said, I'll have some of that, you know, I'll just get two of it because it was it was over two euro a sheet. So I was expecting acetate or printed vellum or something like that. But it's just it's scrapbook paper. There isn't even any foiling. And don't get me wrong. It is a beautiful paper. It's gorgeous and I will absolutely use it. But it is just a, a scrapbook. Uh, sheet from Heidi Swap and uh, two euro fifty, I think, a sheet. Hello, Heidi. You know, fuck <laughs> seriously, girl. <laughs> so got that. Let me grab a white sheet to show you the acetate. I really do love printed acetate, but um, I didn't realize this looked pink, 
on the website but it's actually rose gold i'm not really a rose gold lover but it's it's pretty in its own right so i'm sure i'll figure out something to do with it or i can give it to someone else who might use it then i got this cloud one because i love clouds um she says it's white and putting it on a white paper so that you can see the clouds but anyway you get the idea it's acetate with uh, printed white clouds <laughs> very hard to show um this one i absolutely love this one i did take one of the, i think i took one of these out yeah this is so we'll get rid of that one this one is gorgeous this is really really cute is because it's it's printed acetate but it's craft related like you've got your crocodile here and your paint palettes and crayons and just really cute so i just saw that and i just thought tote bag straight away tote bag with colored thread stitching through it and yeah really cute so i got two of those these are some random papers that i got they were in the reduced on special offer section a bit larger floral print than i would normally go for but i just love the colors and really pretty again i think just tote bag a big tote bag project would be really pretty in these and even the reverse is really pretty on them as well so really nice and then i got vellum to go with these as well i'll show you here and i should have read uh, the packaging better because i didn't realize it was a 12 by 12 vellum pack <laughs> and, um they're really it's from the same collection and they are really pretty but I just should have read. I'll take, just take them out so you can see, because they're they're um they are worth showing without the glare. They're really pretty. This is gorgeous, isn't that gorgeous? I think we get vellum envelope out of an envelope vellum. <laughs> yeah, like it. Uh, that no idea what I would do with that. <laughs> no idea really what I would do with that one. But um, this I love this one. This is gorgeous. Isn't that pretty? How cute is that? I love vellum. I love making uh, vellum jakers, and I love to make projects with windows with vellum like box projects and that kind of thing so this one is gorgeous look at these the kind of watercolor effect just beautiful it's gorgeous you can cut those out easily and use them really pretty and again another gorgeous gorgeous floral beautiful so i'm glad i got them i was just i wasn't expecting i thought they were going to be a kind of a six by six card i thought they were some kind of ephemera uh vellum pieces but i should have read more closely pay more attention to what you're ordering i love that envelope print so much that i got a couple of rice papers in different sizes as well but really pretty so cute i got a distress ink as well i discovered recently that i don't have any dark blue ink in my stash so i just got a mini uh, distress this is chip sapphire it's a nice blue from tim so then the last thing i got this was either a freebie or i put the wrong thing in my cart but uh, all i know is that i didn't order it but it's just an ephemera pack. It might have been a freebie. I'll have to look up the order. But it's really cute. And just especially love that cat. I have to take him out. Look at him. Isn't he gorgeous? Isn't he super cute? I'm glad it came in just some really nice, cute, fun images. So I'll have to look up the order and see uh, where I went wrong on that one. Or if it was maybe a freebie. So that's my haul for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching and for sticking with me if you're through all my paper drooling and banging on and on about paper. I know I do go on sometimes, sometimes, but I really love it. So thanks again for watching. I will have some more videos coming this week. I'm also working at the moment on some more really cute gingerbread projects. So they will be coming later on in the week as well. So stay do stay tuned for those. So thanks again for watching. Hope you're all well out there. And just before we go, guys, can we just get one last hurrah in for these puffies? Because seriously, look at him. Look at him. How could you not? I love them. OK, so that really is it, guys. Uh, please do stay safe out there. Take care. And I will chat to you all in the next video. Bye bye.